This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by We Use Coins. Dot com. When I was out there a couple of years ago, I tried to do a video, you know, I pick, got rid of some of the ice and did a little video about it, suggesting maybe that I shouldn't be the only one. I don't think anyone even paid any attention, unless I'm missing something. Yeah, free staters are always saying uh, uh, more Mayberry, less Fallujah. I'd like to say more Mayberry, less Move. Uh, and if you remember Move, they were the uh, communist-leaning commune in Philadelphia that was uh, burned to the ground by authorities along with most of the neighborhood. Why? Well, because they were perceived as sort of a threat to the neighborhood. Uh, their demeanor and actions didn't really always do much to help ease that perception uh, initiation of property tax resistance uh, simply put uh, I bought this land here um, under the impression that I own it should be accompanied by and thus associated with some sort of improvement to the neighborhood I mean if you so much as sit on the porch at the CAC and have a conversation, there's a pretty good chance you're going to disturb some neighbors because they're that close. Imagine how much negativity there's going to be toward the CAC, toward Ian, as the place starts to become a real ground zero of uh, some kind of property tax revolt. Because a lot of things will probably have to be done at or near the CAC to uh, harden it in some way against the authorities. Once that three-year mark is crossed and the, and, the, and the place can be seized, there's going to have to be quite a few people there at all times uh, so that when they come for it, the maximum stink can be raised. But again, it's in such a residential neighborhood that the stink is going to be a double-edged sword. My expectation would be that on the day they come for the house, the authorities will impose... Well, actually, before they even take it, they may impose an exclusion zone, which bans any number of people from being at the house. On the day they take it, they will probably block roads leading to it. The way you handle that, maybe, would be to create scenes of some sort at each of the roadblocks, or to occupy some piece of town property in response, peaceably expecting to be dragged out of there but the goal here i think and probably should be not just to maximize publicity everyone already knows that but to trigger a sort of second or third phase in the property tax revolt to inspire someone else to do the same thing hopefully 10 or 15 someone else's now if if ian and company have set different goals Fine, but what, what exactly are the goals? I mean, there should be clearly defined objectives. Every aspect of this should be documented as well as possible, especially on video. What would be relatively ideal is if there were some situation that could be created where the free keeners, Ian, whoever, are able to broadcast live inside some ongoing situation. So would that require barricades of some kind? Would it require boarding up the windows? Should there be some method by which the people inside the home can render the home unusable to the bad guys after they've got it? Again, in a peaceable manner, retreating armies, I guess in the days of old, would, well, I don't know if it was always done by retreating armies, but someone would sow the ground with salt, right? So you couldn't grow there. The Swiss in their time made plans to eliminate infrastructure on their withdrawal from Nazi troops in the event of an invasion. In our less warlike situation, what are the options?